guys, this is Amy with Sephora Pro, Sephora's professional makeup artistry team. And I am here today to talk to you about highlighting. It's a big topic these days, especially with the contour trend that was just happening. And now you're seeing everybody asking questions on how to highlight, especially with the new trend word that you're seeing everywhere, which is called strobing. That's highlighting with illuminizer. So why am I here and I am here, well, isn't that just a question for life? What is the difference between highlighting and strobing? So I know all of you, well, maybe not all of you have heard of strobing. So strobing is a new trend word for highlighting with a shimmer, where you wanna be really strategic, and I'll show you how that's done where highlighting has been around since the beginning of makeup and theater and everything else to really enhance and add brightness and lift and bring forward features of the face. One thing that I personally like to use is a concealer for a natural looking highlight. Meaning, you know, if I want something to look more matte, if I want it to look more like natural skin, I can use highlighting with a concealer that's about two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. What I like to use is the Gel Serum Concealer by Sephora Collection. This is a newer product and I absolutely love it. And I really kind of go to town with this product. Now, I don't normally wear a whole lot of makeup, but when I really want to start to highlight, uh, I like to use a concealer. I take it straight from the applicator and I apply it to the areas of the face where I need it. Now this is just a thin, thin, thin layer. Now it looks like a lot because it offers a lot of coverage, but it is a thin layer. Now you can see this is where I really want to add a little enhancement to my face. I also like to take a little right along the jawline and add a little highlight there. So this is gonna give me some dimension. When I'm done actually applying it straight on, I take a beauty blender or even any kind of brush that's gonna be really dense and I can buff it out with a brush. And you can see how that offers like a really soft highlight. Or I can use my beauty blender and tap it in. And what this is gonna do is start to kind of change the shape of my face and enhance and lift this area. As you can see the difference between this side and that side. You can see the difference, right? Yeah, thank goodness. I wanna do the other side, so then that way I don't look lopsided for you for the rest of the video. You're welcome. So again, I just go right on this area, go right around the eyebrow, because I really don't want it to start and stop right here. I want it to be seamless. And then I kind of blend it down right in the center of the face here and right along the jawline. Now, don't pay any attention to this little guy right here. See this little guy, I'm actually gonna tap it right over. I had a little breakout and then I decided to be a home surgeon and it made him very angry. And um, uh, when blemishes get angry, they get very dry. And so I just tap it with a little concealer and then go over it with my beauty blender. And look at that, oh, disappeared, thank goodness and then I blend it out. Now, when I use a beauty blender with a highlighter, I'm bouncing it on the skin. If I wanna shear it down, I can actually start to glide it and blend it out. If I want coverage, I bounce, and then if I want it to be sheer, I can glide it out, as you can see. Now, this is my daytime highlight, and it looks more, more matte or more natural looking, depending on the formula that you're using. There we go. Oh yeah, I feel way better. And then I take a little bit of whatever's left over on my beauty blender to very gently highlight down the center of my face too. So you can already see a difference in dimension. And you can even see that I look like I have a little bit of a contour because I highlighted. Now, the next way to highlight with a product is something that has a shimmer. So there are shimmer highlighters. And shimmer highlighting is more strategic. So you want to use it just in certain areas and you want to apply it in the area where you want the most intensity first. Liquids, I think, look the most natural. I think a liquid, liquid highlighter looks not only the most natural, but I think it is, it just lays so well on the skin and, and, and I think it's just so universal for every single skin type. So if you're oily, if you're dry, if you're combination, I think a liquid highlighter is, you know, one of the best ways to go about highlighting. One of my absolute favorites, and I'm completely 
completely obsessed. I mean, this seriously gives me some life. This is the uh, Sephora Collection Radiant Luminizing Drops. Uh, so there's three different colors. Um, you have the, let me make sure I get them right. You have Morning Light, which is lovely. And then you have the Ultra Light, which is very ultra. And then you have the uh, Starlight, which, you know, don't be afraid to use anything with a little bit of a pink glow because that pink glow is actually going to add a certain aspect of youth to your skin. It really adds a lot of brightness to the skin. So you open it up and you have a little tiny dropper. I place a little bit, little tiny bit, right on the back of my hands. And then I'm going to strategically place it. I'm gonna use the pad of my finger just to place it right where I want the most highlight. And where I want the most highlight is right here under the outer corner of my eye. So yes, you can use a shimmer highlighter over top of your concealing highlight if you want to, or you just use a shimmer highlighter in certain small areas and then you can blend it out. One brush that I like to use is actually the Sephora Pro Collection Brush uh, number 79. It is a contour brush, but it's really soft and gentle and see how I'm just blending the edges out. Really easy. I know there's a lot of different videos that are out there that try to tell you, you know, oh, you know, you have to put highlighter all over your face. You really don't. You just wanna put it in the areas that you want the most intensity and then blend it out. If you do a shimmering highlighter all over the face, please do not take a picture of yourself with a flash. So that's liquid. There's also what I like to is in some liquids, you know, don't be afraid to use a really, really light one as well. Although you wanna use it sparingly. I save the really, really, really fair ones, um, like silvery white highlighters that are shimmering um, for either going out for an evening, um, strategic placement for like a wedding, or um, you know, if I'm really doing like a special occasion, or maybe if I'm just really having a day and I'm just really looking like I'm having a day and I just need to not look like I'm having a day. So I take a little bit of the, this one is from Becca as well. This is a liquid highlighter little bit, we'll do it for you. And you can see, it's pr it looks pretty concentrated. And I'm gonna be really strategic and it's only gonna add a little tiny bit of brightness right where I need it. Right in those inner corners. Now, when it comes to the whole trend of strobing, you know, this is really what strobing is about, is like getting a highlighter that's really gonna give you an effect, like a more dramatic effect. So you kind of have that glowing, soft, straight from, you know, walking outside and you get dewy, you know, um, very youthful. And you can see the key points, I'm trying to be like really, really strategic with this. So if you get something that's really, really, really light, like for me, for being pretty fair, this white would be really light for me. If you're more medium complected, maybe something like a champagne color would give you this effect. If you're more deep complected and have a rich complexion, then maybe something more along the lines of like a gold, uh, gold copper will give you this effect. Be very sparing with it, um, but if you place it in just the right areas, it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. So this one right here is from Becca. It is the Champagne Pop. Hello, hello gorgeous. Um, what I love is it kind of looks like a jewel in a compact. I mean, like it's really sparkly, I like it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and it goes with a lot of different skin tones. If you're more of like a pink undertone, it still looks really great. If you're more of a golden undertone, it still looks really good. Um, and I also like using some powder highlighters as an eyeshadow. So, ha, I know, gotcha, didn't I? One brush that I like to really like to use with a powder highlighter is the fan brush. Um, there's a couple different things that you could do with it. Using just the side of that fan brush, 
wiggle it in there. Just give it a little wiggle. Yeah, wiggle it just a little bit. That's right. And then right on the side of the brush, just tap off the excess a little bit. I place it right underneath the outer corner of the eye, give it a little flick down, and then use the side of the fan brush to blend it out. Fan brushes are really old school makeup brushes um, that I use, you know, I learned how to do makeup 20 years ago, which um, fan brushes were a staple. They're also really great to add a little bit of a contour to, or maybe even a soft blush, so. But anyway, this isn't about brushes. I mean, kind of, it's more about highlighters. So let's get back on topic, shall we? Yes. The next thing we we'll talk about is a cream to powder. So cream to powder, Highlighters are usually have a little bit of what's called a silicone base, and it feels like a powdery slip to it. Uh, and, and that's usually what a lot of bronzers are made of. And, and, and the reason why I bring it up is because it seals and locks in hydration in your skin, but it also glides smoothly over top of your makeup as well. This particular product is called What's Up from Benefit. Um, it has a twist up, kind of almost like a lipstick tube applicator. So it's super easy. Um, and then you can just use it straight on the skin if you want to, to provide color and then start blending it out with your finger. Or you can just go straight in with a brush. This particular brush is the number 80 Sephora Pro Contour Highlight Brush. I really like this brush. So it's a synthetic bristle and I just use it right on the side of the brush and then this is where I can just add a little highlight here and this will give you a softer application. So directly straight on gives you more intensity or using with a brush or even on the finger gives you a softer application. This is really easy product to just carry around in your purse. Um, it's TSA friendly so if you're flying the friendly skies here you go and I really enjoy it. I also like using the cream to powder highlighter, especially on my days off, where I really don't feel like doing a whole lot of makeup and I just take a little bit of that product, put it right on the tab of my finger and just give a little, a little rub here, a little rub here, mascara and I'm out the door. Uh, even maybe even a little on the lip and then pop it with a gloss. So these are just a couple different things that I personally like to do with my highlighters. Um, okay, the next one, which I get really excited about, excellent, um, is the uh, cream. So we went from powder and then we had cream to powder and now we have cream. So cream highlighters, this is from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector poured um, into a compact and it is a cream. So. It's, the creams are a little bit more stickier than a cream to powder, where the cream to powder has a powdery slip. The creams feel a little bit more hydrating. I guess it's the best word that I can say. It just has that here. I'm just gonna add a little, make kind of like a mess. As you can see, you get like a fingerprint in there. So it has a little bit more hydration, a little bit more cream to it. And then this will probably be more for a drier skin type where the powder and the cream to powder can be from more like an oilier skin type to um, a combination skin type. This particular product or, or formula with a cream or even into a liquid is probably more for a drier skin type. And the reason why is because it's gonna offer you a little bit more hydration. So again, I just dip the pad of my finger right into the product and then press it right into the skin and then blend if you want something really soft. But if you want something that's more precise is when you take a brush, so you can use a straight on with a brush too, and actually apply it that way. Now I have so much luminizer on my face at this point that you're not gonna really see a difference. So I'm gonna stop applying it to my face and just stick to my hand. And then that way I don't confuse you because you're gonna be like, girl, you are glowing like crazy. And I'm gonna be like, I know. There's one more product I wanna talk about. And it's something that is near and dear to my heart and it's something that uh, makes me very happy. And this one color and this one product works well on every single skin tone. And this is the Fresh Glow Stick from Burberry. So again, you just use it straight on the skin like so and then blend it in and that's it. So it's kind of like a balm. Um, but it does provide for you a, a nice strategic way to add a highlight maybe above the upper lip. And it doesn't make it look like, you know, you got milk, you know. 
which is great. Right along here. So it gives you like a really nice targeted way of doing your luminizer. So, you know, a little bit goes a long way. And, and this is what I love about this particular product because it is like a balm, it is hydrating. Um, I would say it's more for a drier skin type, but it is beautiful on all skin tones. So that is basically that of all my favorite highlighting products that we have here. So, you know, what are some of your favorite products? I want to know. I'm curious because there's so many that are out there. And don't forget to keep commenting down below in Beauty Talk. You know, let us know what products you are using. Let us know if you've tried any of these techniques and how they worked for you. Maybe there's techniques that you discovered on your own that you want to share with us because we learn from you as well. And if anything, if, if you don't get the answers that you need here, definitely don't forget to stop into your local Sephora store for a free mini makeover. Until next time, I'll see you then.